This is a real game review. Well, I don't know where to start. I've played the beta now. And I have to say, I loved it. If you've seen the gameplay videos now, you've seen that I actually really enjoyed the beta. Now, probably people are going to ask, are you going to buy the full game? The answer to that question is simply a no, and I'll explain why. I know it's saddening, some people want to see more Destiny. The thing is, online games, this is an online game only, and I'm really saddened by that. I know it's been said and all that, but I'm just, I'm not happy with it. I just wish that this game was actually just like Halo, where you can play offline and you can play online, and this game makes sense. There's been bugs and all and like that, and, you know, it, it makes sense that this should be a single player game as well, not just an only online game. It's difficult. I'm, I'm really disappointed because personally I enjoyed the hell out of the beta. As you can see, I'm just sitting in this tree. And to hear that news it just doesn't make me happy. Because if my internet went down or my internet service provider was like, okay, nope, you're not getting the internet. You didn't pay us enough or something like that. And it can happen. But another bad part is, I'm uploading these videos of Destiny, let's say, of the full game. Right, I'm putting this on YouTube. Now while I'm doing that, this game is downloading in the background. That's, that's what it's doing right now. Everything I'm doing with all these different players, it's downloading. So as I'm uploading my videos to YouTube of Destiny's gameplay and all that, I'm downloading and uploading to that too. And that sucks up a lot of internet. Now let's say those videos don't actually process like they have with my beta gameplay videos. Well, that's a problem because that sucks up your internet. And when you want to play Destiny, then the game could be lagging or slow or you've just lost your internet because YouTube sucked it all up because you've been uploading a lot of videos per day. It's just not possible. And another bad part about this is, say if the game comes out right now and then a hacker hacks the game and destroys it for everyone. Now I know, what you, I know what you're thinking, okay? Well, Bungie will be able to fix it. But if you play Grand Theft Auto V, you can actually see that that game has a lot of hackers in it. And that game, when I wanted to play it online, wouldn't allow me because Rockstar had to fix it all. So yeah, I do trust Bungie, but the problem is, it's not as simple as just going, well, I trust this. There's going to be hackers out there that are going to wreck the game. They're going to have all these high-powered weapons, all the armor and all that. And they're possibly going to shut down the servers so we can't get access. And that's, that's just a very annoying part to think about that. And that means, let's say Bungie doesn't fix it for two weeks. Now, I know that's not going to happen, but let's just say it did. Then... You can't actually play Destiny for two weeks because there's no offline mode. You know? Say it's raining right now. The power goes out. Okay, you got no internet. But let's say the power's back on and your internet connection's gone. Well, you can't play the game. It's just... That's the annoying part that I don't like about it. There's so many online games coming out. The Division... Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, uh, not Patriots, The Siege, I think it is. And I'm, I'm interested in those games, but online only really draws me away, you know. There's only enough internet around the world, and in Australia, it's tough, okay. Personally, I should be just turning off this game and stop wasting the internet, that's what I should do. But... It's just so 
hard on why Bungie just couldn't do it. They can do offline. It's possible. They just don't want to do it. And that's the thing that will wreck Destiny. Okay, it's an amazing game. It's outstanding. Is it better than Halo? I would say it's just as great. Just a bit better than Halo. I love the open world part. I love the enemies. I love the gameplay. It's so good. It feels like Halo Reach evolved. And that's awesome. Then it's also got the Mass Effect feel and the Borderlands feel about it. That's another plus to me. And I love that. This game did it better than Borderlands in a way. Almost. But another down part about this game is, and what made me even want to go, okay, well, it's just online. Okay, maybe we can get around. But not really. You can't really get around that. There's no offline mode. But there's no split screen either. Like, come on. Halo has had split screen in the past. I would love to have my friend pop over over my house, get a controller, jump into Destiny with me, and just have a blast. This game is designed to do it. It's a social game. Look, you can dance. But... Bungie doesn't want to do it. They say it's not part of their plan. No, I just say that they just can't be bothered. It's possible. They just don't want to be bothered. So, this game is massive. It's online only. And there's no split screen either. So really, what's the point of buying this game? It's a lot of fun. But as soon as your internet goes out, or as soon as a hacker comes in and destroys the game, like they did with Grand Theft Auto V and many other games in the past, Goodbye, your perfect game that you loved. That's the hard part for me to get around. It just saddens me. Personally, I have loved Bungie for so long. I've been with them basically kind of before Halo 1. Almost. But I'm just going to say, basically on Halo 1. And I've loved every Halo. I bought Halo from the beginning, including Halo Wars and Halo 3 ODST. And they were just amazing games. And the minute they announced Destiny, I was so pumped. I pre-ordered it day one it got announced. Now, I'm sorry to say it, but I'm cancelling my pre-order. And that, to me, just makes me so mad that I'm cancelling my pre-order for Destiny. And Bungie is my favourite studio out of all of them. They just, they were amazing. And to top it off, the person who made all the Halo amazing, outstanding music, Mario Donald, is being fired from Bungie. And he's no longer going to be part of Destiny at all. Some of the music that you hear for Destiny right now, Mario Donald did. And that just saddens me even more, because Mario Donald was just outstanding. The music he had for Halo was just, for God's sake, there's no words to describe it. How could he have thought that that type of music was going to work with Halo? No one could have thought that. It could have been some really techno high thing or some deep darkened music and it was all of that and it just worked. The choir, like, hello, you play Call of Duty and you hear their soundtrack and it's all action and rhythm and it, it's, it's trying to get you up. But Halo is just free flow and it's just outstanding. And when I hear the soundtrack in Destiny, it's like going back to the Halo days again. Mario Donald did this. And I have to say the music in this game is outstanding as well. So personally, why would you find Mario Donald? It makes no sense, Bungie. Okay? A loyal, true fan that's willing to put his money on the table and you just want to go, no, I'm going to destroy that. You know, there's so many fans of Halo out there. And I bet you there's some people out there who go, well, Destiny sucks. Okay? I like Halo better. When 343 launched Halo 4, 
I have to say, I was really hyped up about that. Okay, new studio. But these are the proper Bungie people. When I played the game, I was like, what is this? This is not Halo. And I was like, well, why couldn't Bungie come back and just fix Halo 4? Now that I get and see what Bungie is like, now that they are with Activision, Activision's basically made Bungie the new Blizzard. And that's just not right. Bungie is amazing. And you could see it. What they do is outstanding. From the gameplay I've seen of the Xbox 360, the PS3, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, whatever, of Destiny, blows me away. I didn't think they could fit the whole of Destiny on the PlayStation 3. And to make it even better, sure, they made it so that Destiny is not just Xbox only. It's also PlayStation. So PlayStation gamers can join in, join in the fun. But to make it worse, right... You pay, I don't know, $60 for 12 months, I don't know. But you pay money to go on Xbox Live or have PlayStation Plus. Sure, you get some benefits out of it. But then you have to pay to play online. And that's another thing. You think that in this game they're not going to have some type of skins or some weapons where you actually have to use your real money that you, you got in real life on this game when it launches. Ha, come on. That will happen. And that's another thing that wrecks it for me. Because people are going to pay all that money to get a really cool weapon. Then they'll play it in multiplayer. And then bang, you're dead. And you're like, well, come on. I'm, I'm playing the game the normal way. And you paid that money just so you can get a better gun. You know, I'm all for skins and that. But that's just not going to be fair if that happens. And I'm afraid it might. Every game's doing that. Like, look at Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto V. Shark cards. Pay your real money to get virtual money. It's very sad to have games now with in-app purchases. It's not a game to me anymore. Once that happens, I'm kind of like, well, that's it. I'm not buying the game. I bought basically so many games that's not funny in the past. And almost every game that's come out, I've basically had. And now, I'm really slipping away. I'm going, well, you know what? I know there's so many games coming out, but I'm not going to bother. Wolfenstein was another one I haven't played. And that's got like a 50 gigs or something on the PC. And I'm like, wow, no way. Okay? And when you look at the gameplay and all that, you think, well, Destiny, okay, that's open world. Borderlands, Grand Theft Auto V, they're open world, and they're really graphics intense. And then you look at Wolfenstein, that's not open world hardly at all, and it's 50 gigs. And there's some games out there that are doing it. That's not my argument. But Destiny is something that could have been the next best. It was a cool duty killer, and you can see it. But to turn Bungie into Blizzard and make this just an online only game, it isn't gonna work. You know, even if this game came to PC, I bet you there would be a mod out there that would turn this game to be able to be played offline. Guaranteed. That's why it's not actually coming out to PC. Because they would know that someone out there would find a way to turn this online only game into offline or hack it in some way that will wreck the online place. Well, that's going to happen either way. Sure, it was a better idea to release it on PS3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, whatever it is. And at least you're not going to hopefully find a, someone will find a way to turn it offline. This game deserves offline. It's outstanding. Why can't they give me that option? It just makes me so mad that that's the way everything is going now. There's going to be so many games coming out. The Crew, that's another one. That's an online-only racing game. 
It's open world. It's like Destiny, except cars. <laughs> Instead of shooting. Sure, it looks good. But online only? You, you download a game. Let's say it's, I don't know, 20 gigs is the game. In total. And of course, there's going to be patches. But when you're playing it and it's online only, you're downloading it still. It's, it's not a stop. It will keep downloading. So you're not you're not stopping anything at all. You just you might as well just went okay, play and then download it while you're playing. That makes more sense. But instead you go, okay, I want to install it, okay, download, wait for the download to finish, then play, then jump into the game. That's still downloading as you're playing the game. And Xbox One's doing that. There are some games out there, and PlayStation 4, sorry, that are making it so that when you download it, you can play it as it downloads. But, if it's online only, it should either be free, cheaper than it is, because this is going to probably be a $100 game in Australia. If you look at the prices at EB Games, or JB Hi-Fi, or whatever, you'll see this is going to be an inexpensive game. It's probably going to be $80 when it officially releases. That's how all games are going now. But still, this is online only. You're not getting the full product. This is not the full version. If it's the full version, it would have offline, split screen, all that good stuff that you like. Okay, sure, it didn't have split screen. Okay, I can get past that. But online only? Come on, man. You know, America's probably going to pay 40 maybe $50 for this game. And personally, this game deserves to be 20 That's my opinion. <sighs> it's just crazy these days. You watch. Far Cry 4 is coming out. Is there a possibility of it getting delayed? Maybe. But. Far Cry 4 feels like it's getting rushed out the door. I played Watch Dogs this year. It was the most anticipated game. I played it and I was like, what is this? Yeah, it was fun. But. And it wasn't online only, thank God. But it was still like. Really? This game doesn't feel finished as of yet. Ubisoft's hardly even supporting that. They're moving on to Assassin's Creed now. And what makes me worried now is they're also talking about Destiny 2. So that's another problem. So yeah, that's basically my real game review of Destiny in total. It's 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 an outstanding game. Play the beta and you'll see what I mean. But online only, no split screen, makes it not cool. Makes it lame. I know there's gonna be people out there that will disagree. Some people say you're off topic, uh, you know. But this makes sense. If Destiny goes this way where it's like, okay, we've released Destiny 1 right now, Okay, there's some in-app purchases to buy a cool weapon. Then in two years' time, we see Destiny 2. No, I don't want that. This game, if it's going to be online, it should be able to expand. And a lot of games should do that, and they don't. Okay, You pay a lot of money for that product, and then they ask for more money to get DLC out of you. Like, they've already got the expansion packs talked about in Destiny already. And I'm just like, how can that happen? Finish the game. Give some bonuses, sure. But don't already talk about DLC. Talk about DLC after the game's released. That makes more sense. And sh personally, it should go back to the olden days where DLC was free and was included because you put your money on the table and said, hey, I want that game. And people were like, well, sure, we'll give you a a an update. And you can download that update, and you'll get some cool content out of it. These days, updates are just crap, and you really shouldn't be downloading the update at all. 
or it does its fix bugs, and personally it doesn't do that either. Basically, that's destiny. And I will not be supporting Bungie if they don't fix this before the full game releases. And I'm going to tell you this now, I am cancelling the pre-order, guaranteed, within this week coming up. I know it's harsh. You have to be harsh to fix. And that's just not something that's really going to be talked about. I'm hoping that Bungie does listen. And once they see this video, they can understand where I'm coming from. This is basically a 10 out of 10 game. But right now, with all that stuff, with the DRM almost in it, it's a basically a 2 out of 10 game. And that's my review score for it. But if you want to know what the beta, personally what I thought of the beta, it was amazing. And personally, I want to give it a 9 out of 10. That's the score. But I know the full game's going to launch. And if there's going to be some of these problems, like disconnections and all that, that's going to piss me off. So I'm not going to do that. I don't, I don't want to buy a game and feel like, okay, you've been disconnected, even though you want to play the game. And that's another issue with online only. So yeah, this has been a real game review of Destiny's beta, and personally, my uh, opinions on Destiny's full game when it launches, and some other games out there that are trying the same techniques like the online-only part that Destiny has. And I'm going to say it, there's going to be people out there that are stupid enough to go and buy online-only games, more for them, because once they see the servers are down, they're going to get pissed. I've done that many times before in online only games. It's annoying. You feel like, yes, I want to play the game. Oh my goodness, it's disconnected. That's that's just that's crazy. Hmm. Well, there you go. Long video. A long review and I will be having a lot more of these games even if a game doesn't come out okay like if a game doesn't come out and I played it a bit I will give my opinions on what I think of the game you know let's say Borderlands pre-sequel comes out right and I haven't played it but then I watch a lot of gameplay videos of other people out there on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, streaming and that. And then I see the game just looks like Borderlands 2.5. Then I'm going to say something. Okay, because it just needs to be said. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, Stay tuned for another real game review, and I'm not gonna tell you it just so you can run out there and waste your money. I'm here to tell you the truth, not like IGN, GameSpot, Machinima, and who else out there just wants you, because they're paid to get you to go out and buy the game. I'm here to tell you the truth, no bullshit. Thank you. Once again... I'm JSB, and I'm basically signing out.